I hope you all enjoy, and I will commence the Let's Play now. And I hope you all enjoy this adventure with me. Yeah, so I know nothing about it, but like I said, uh, I know Al Capone's in it and other historical characters, and I really like this, the look and style of the game, and the name is so smooth, like, Blues and Bullets, can you really not, like, like that name? Also, uh, I am a old-timey kind of guy, I watched a lot of the black and white gangster movies, so... I kind of got a thing for gangsters and you know old stool and shit so hey what's to stop me from buying this like man those old nor uh early nor type movies with the fucking smooth ass talk and like hey toots go get oh shit what the fuck hold up that is not what I was expecting Oh, okay, I was expecting thugs, gangsters, not cult devil worshippers. Holy fuck. I'm pretty sure I started a uh <laughs> different game. This seriously looks like some cult bullshit going on. <laughs> yeah, like I think this go this circles around the kidnapping of Al Capone's daughter. Yeah, it's your turn. And I start off as his daughter. Uh, try to escape from the cell. Okay, so I've tried at least 14 times. Okay, that's the bathroom. Wow, oh, this is pretty rough. Get me out of here, please. Oh. Alright, so. Why is that lit up again? You know what? Wait. Mm -hmm. I'll try the door first. If we don't escape, I'll be punished. I've been bad. All right. Let's be calm. Don't worry, I can do this. What if you can't? I'll be punished, just like Juliet. Just relax. Just relax. One down. That just leaves yours and the one on the door. I'll be punished. I've been bad. I'll be punished. It's okay. Get the fuck out, kid. Alright, I'm the daughter of the most notorious known gangster ever. Just look out, okay? You know something though? The big reason I was I was a fan of the old school old school uh gangster movies was because it wasn't so much about the like it wasn't so much about oh no oh shit oh, I gotta hurry quick get me out of here be quiet it wasn't so much about the uh oh no I'm gonna try to help the boy. Cause quick, how am I exit? Like he's gonna come through there regardless. I'm fucked. You know. What are you doing? Help me, please. All right. So. Yeah. See, this is like some double shit. Hey, 
He murdering kids and fuck not. Oh damn, you snitching on me. I tried to help him. And she she snitched on me. Oh. Oh my god. I can't believe. Oh fuck. That's the last time I tried to help somebody. Oh bitch. Oh fuck. So like I was saying, um Blues and Bullets remind me of the old time gangster movies and stuff. And alright. Like those, mo I took away something else from the movies besides all the murder and uh, illegal act deals and stuff they did. It was more about the the closeness of their group. You know, they were very honorable, very, uh, very respectful and upright people. Besides, you know, all the illegal shit they did, but. Uh, a lot of a lot of the mafias and groups like that that got started originally started to protect their people when they're con and shit. And it was it was it didn't always it wasn't always like you know bullying the local business and trying to take territory. It was mainly about protecting your district from outside people or corrupted cops or whatever you know, where are the cops you see like this is what it's like that's like how mafias were started they were they were like the irish mafia wasn't looked out by wasn't lo looked out for so whenever people came down to the docks to bully them off the docks and try to take their jobs they formed a mafia and started protecting themselves because the police would turn a blind eye you know, that's a lot. That's like how it, a lot of it started. You know, uh, people were trying to push him out of their homes and stuff, Alex, trying to take their jobs. So well, I just slipped out for a second. they uh, the fought back. Thanks. And nothing's wrong with that. Back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. It's a deal. All right, put the check on your desk. Yeah, he's an ex-cop, like I said earlier. He's an ex-cop. And I guess he's doing, he's retired. But Al Capone's daughter gets kidnapped and he has to come out of retirement. Well, he doesn't even come out of retirement. He's like, he, Al Capone starts fucking shit up. So he he decides to help Al Capone find his daughter. Not much, but I earned it. You know, so. Oh, I got the look. Okay, the look things down here. It's seen better days, like a lot of us. Hey Ness, where's my burger? Oh man, fuck you! I'm exp I'm looking at this shit. Yeah. Capone can't touch us. Untouchables hit by the mafia. Agent Jim Docker killed in shooting. Al Capone convicted for tax evasion. Yeah, he was never. He didn't even get caught for all the shit he did. He got caught on some tax shit. Superintendent Ness retires. I think that's you, or the person in your play as, who, or who I play as. Damn it, Nash, you gotta be the slowest waiter in Santana. Santana Esperanza. I think I said that right. I'm gonna be sarcastic with him. I guess so. The girls at Happy Doll say you're more of the speedy type. I won't keep you waiting again. Anyway, they catch the deadbeat robbing the pharmacy. But there's no proof. So they hand him up to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. Serve the pie to Alice. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get Alice some pie.
Take your time. There's your five. Take your time. Anything, tell him it's my fault. And... <laughs> I don't think I dare. Mm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think, I didn't find my true calling until I was in my fifties. All right, prepare Dixon's order. Okay, cool. That's simple shit, you know. You retired, opened up a sauce. diner. Now you're serving the people you work, you used to work with. More sauce, enough. More sauce. More sauce. More sauce. And that's enough. That's enough. I don't know how much sauce you want. I wasn't re I couldn't read okay, the stuff. If you confess right now, I finish work on time and everybody's happy. I'm gonna have to say the animations are a little weird. The animations are a bit weird. And I have to but uh You really said that? There you go. I get I don't like I don't know this company. I don't know if they're a big company or a small company. The doctor will have to work late too. So, you know, I can give it, I can give it a pass if they're a small company, because it looks good, it looks good. Besides animations and some characters, the game looks good. He's saying, right? Yeah, like a soprano, and you know what I did next, Ness? Uh, brag. You told everyone what a hero you are, and you haven't stopped telling them to this day. Yeah, but before he left the cell, <laughs> I rearranged his face. <laughs> How much sauce did you put on this thing, you goddamn maniac? Oh, you didn't want that much sauce? Just enough to make sure you never come back here, Dickinson. Ah, screw you, Ness. Attend the sp suspicious customer. Well. This is this guy cloaked in red aura? Your first time here, right? I like this job, you know. Not because I like serving coffee or food. This job is about understanding people, knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth before disarming you. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They'd keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You'd be lucky to wake up in a hospital. The question is, what do I do with you now? Buy yourself a suit, son. Get a shave, get a job, and make a man of yourself. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. You want coffee? Yeah, I'm gonna be a good cop. Promise me one thing. However hard the rest of them push you, never become a cop like Dickinson. You got it. Besides, to be a Dickinson, you have to be all man, and uh, uh, there's one thing I'm missing. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. They're not Jenkins. Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm going to die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. That's too bad. I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. Oh, he must work for our child Al Capone. Well, shit. 20 years ago.